This is the story of the Mitchellstown Social Hub, established in North County Cork in 2017. There had been an active retirement group in the area before 2017, called the Wednesday Active Group, and they met once a week, welcoming around 15 members for an exercise class or sometimes just for a chat. It was a welcome break in the week, especially for those living alone. But it always seemed to be over too quickly. And then there was the long wait for those few hours of friendship to come around again. The members wanted more. And so, with the assistance of Ballyhower Development and support through the Social Inclusion and Community Activation Programme, the Wednesday Active Group has grown and transformed into the Mitchellstown Social Hub. Bustling gatherings with over 150 members. They meet on Mondays, Wednesdays and Thursdays and even online, with activities driven by and even delivered by a really strong committee. The chat and the cup of tea remain central, but there's so much more now. Pathways to training, self-development, self-care, confidence building and participation in Mitchellstown as an age-friendly town. When Covid struck, Ballyhower Development's SICAP frontline workers were on the ground, assisting the social hub members when they needed it most, helping them not only to get through the isolation and loneliness of the pandemic, but working closely with the committee to grow, develop and flourish as a local community group, even through the dark days of lockdown. You are about to hear directly from this effervescent group who have taken ownership of their own future. You're there at home all day, you're thinking for your family. You're never used to being doing things for yourself. And next thing then they're all gone. And you're on your own. And when you come back here, you're mixing again, like in actually making new friends. Only very little milk now. That's grand. Thank Mitchellstown you. Social Hub. We're having our tea. Tea and cakes made by Kathleen. <laughs> Enjoyment. Social interaction. It's nice to meet people. Takes away the loneliness. If I didn't come here, I wouldn't know anybody. Friendship. Something to look forward to. It all began in 2017 with a meeting between Ballyhower Development and members of the Wednesday Active Group, an active retirement group in Mitchellstown. The group is in existence with a good many years. People wanted a little bit more. So the social hub became a vibrant meeting place. They're smiling, they're happy, they're chit With activities several days a week. Well, I come here on a Monday. Wednesday and hopefully on the Thursday now we get back Now to we it. have computer training. Everybody is welcome. No excuses, girls. Laptops available for anybody who want to get started and who haven't started until now. We all Opportunities saw. for learning and development as well as social outings. We go to the cinema. We like to do things that young people do. We go to tea parties, dancing, Christmas parties. Whatever is on, with age is no barrier. We don't like to think it's an old folks group. Because the people who are here are young at heart. They're no more than teenagers. They want to feel young and they don't want to be classed as people who are old. Now, I want everybody to stand up and space themselves. And you need a little bit of space for the exercises. The Mitchellstown Social Hub has been supported by SICAP frontline workers. Laura Maloney McCarthy is the development officer for the Galtee district. When Ballyhower got involved, I suppose initially it was to bring the group together. There would have been Cork ETV funding hours for healing through the art. And I suppose that was where a lot of the participants came from because they wanted to take part in training courses. Good posture means that you are less likely to fall and that you have better balance. So we just start off with a quick warm up. So we'll As it went on off. further then in 2019, the group were getting a lot stronger, their capacity had built, they were able to run it without much support from Ballyhower at all, and that was when the group would have undertaken committee skill training. Yeah, committee skill training, yeah, loved us, loved every minute of it. It would have been difficult to set up a committee and to know what to do without training. There were new responsibilities now with the expansion of the group, and the committee skills training was a way to ensure good governance right from the start, as chairperson Hannah Casey explains. It means that we're very official. We have the secretary and the treasurer and the chairperson. We have our insurance. We're registered with revenue. Because of this, the social hub could now expand their activities. Going away on weekends, they were going to the cinema, they were looking for places to go, maybe on a shopping trip. Not all of the funding could be found for that through um, our goal one under SICAP. So they had to start thinking outside the box and looking at other avenues of funding. 
So we would have collaborated with the HSC and applied for Section 39 funding. Um, they would have looked at lotto funding and different avenues where they could subsidise money already available to them through their members. Now that the committee were getting stronger and more independent, they were no longer relying on intensive SICAP supports, but rather working in partnership with Ballyhara Development. The main thing I wanted was that they were able to run the group without needing Ballyhara to do everything. So when I'm filling out forms and looking for sponsorship, I can tick all the boxes and I can put in the information. I don't have to be wondering about anything. It's, it's all there. The committee ran on what they wanted and that they weren't always, I suppose, looking for somebody else to tell them what to do. And now we we'll just bring our elbow into motion. We've just got. You're listening to a lively That's Go For Life it. exercise That's class at the Mitchellstown again. Social Hub. Twenty exuberant ladies have pushed their chairs aside, marching in unison, guided by their light-footed fellow hub member and committee member, Kathleen Griffin. No matter what age they are, if you can't stand, you can sit. Do what's suitable for you. Like it's great to see people looking up at you and they're happy. And when you get a good feedback, then at the end of the day, like when they tell you they enjoyed it, it's brilliant. Kathleen became the hub's exerciser-in-chief when she completed a personal activity leader, or PAL course, with other committee members, including Chairperson Hannah. We had actually had our committee meeting in the office in Ballyhora. So we were passing the door and Laura had the door open and she said, girls, I see here there's PALS training funded by the HSE and it's recommended for, for older people. So straight off, we decided three of us would go. So we went up the cock once a week for eight or nine sessions, qualified, and uh, we were able to bring our skills back to the group. Bring your hands into motion this time, as high as you can. Because if you don't use your muscles, they tighten and weaken, and you lose your range of motion. Kathleen sounds like she's been leading exercise classes for years. But in fact, her growth and confidence has come since she joined the Social Hub Committee. Do you think that I'd stand up there 18 months ago and do exercise in front of somebody? I don't know. But now I don't <laughs> I'd say anything now. And there's no stopping Kathleen. She is recently also qualified as a tutor for Singing for the Brain, a group singing activity. It's very beneficial because it gets them to work their brain that little bit. The musical director, Fiona Flavin, came down. She gave us the first couple of sessions and I shadowed for six weeks. And then I was able to take over on my own after that. Very good. Like I'd say other groups our age in other places haven't have what we have. The exercise, the, you know, and then the crafts, different things that we all join in. We're all learning day by day. You know, it takes away the stress, anxiety and tension. Having their own tutors within the group means that the social hub can now easily provide a wide variety of activities for its members. But Ballyhar Development also supported the group in their aim of being heard in the process of Mitchellstown becoming an age-friendly town. So it's not just about the activities and the group, it's the members and it's the advocacy that comes out of that, that their voices can be heard through their committee members sitting on the age-friendly committee. They wanted seats in different locations in Mitchellstown, like, which they got, like, and it was grand. Cock County Council met up with the Wednesday group. Their local representatives are hearing what it is that they think are needs in their locality. Footpets, pedestrian crossing. Change the timer so an older person has adequate time to cross the road. Oh, lots of nice things came about as a result of Mitchellstown becoming an age-friendly town. And just they, the Wednesday Active Group, wanted it. In early 2020, the Mitchellstown Social Hub was at an all-time high, operating as its own entity with a fully-fledged and skilled committee of nine people. In March 2020, all of that connection and inclusion they'd worked so hard for was thrown into uncertainty with the COVID-19 pandemic. The lockdown, the lockdown came then. Because we had an older group, we needed to protect them. So the first week of March was when we made the decision that the social hub needed to close. From a group that had been very, very active, it was quite scary for a lot of them that they couldn't see their loved ones, they couldn't meet their friends, they didn't, it was very unknown. Oh, it was like, like jail, it was ice, very isolating. I was afraid to go out in case you'd get it. Ballyhower's main piece at that time was to keep engagement with the group. 
that peace that if they didn't have, they really would have been seeing nobody, isolation, maybe getting into trouble with mental health. It was an immediate response. SICAP frontline workers reacting to identified needs. The first week, everybody got a phone call. And the second week, everybody got a phone call. And sometimes they got two phone calls. Anything they needed, they could text and ask for it. So if anyone wanted a panic alarm, we sought them. The Mitchtown newsletter was given out to all participants. We also were able to collaborate with Alone and Vodafone and get them smartphones. We decided we'd do it on Zoom. We had a mighty reaction. Hannah and Kathleen will always say the day I told them we were moving the social hub onto Zoom, they thought I'd lost the plot. <laughs> they were like, what is this? We're in a pandemic and she wants us to move on to this thing called Zoom. If you told me that I'd be able to get onto Zoom 18 months ago, I'd say, great, you're deft. But very quickly, Within a couple of days, I had sent them the link. We did a couple of phone calls and once they were on Zoom and they could see me and I could see them, it was like, this is amazing. Like Soon, Hannah and Kathleen were not just attending Zoom meetings, but hosting them. They went on and trained each member. And at one point, there was two Zoom calls a day going five days a week during the pandemic. We were on Zoom from Monday to, to Torsa every week. Like We were nearly going... 24-7. There, was, there were some days there when we were on in the morning and in the evening as well. Because we had yoga and we had bingo. We had singing and Christmas party on Zoom. We had 40 of our members turned up and it was probably one of the greatest celebrations we ever had with Santa. And it was the most natural event ever. We left and everybody left with us. And we, you know, we just taught them have a drink or a cup of tea or a celebration that we were going to toast the Christmas and we did do it because we had become Zoom friends. Eventually we had to say, let's, we have to go in, oh, happy Christmas. <laughs> As more members were able to join in on the Zoom calls, the word spread. It just grew and grew and the momentum grew and more and more people then started taking part. We have people from Belly Hay, we have them from um, Limerick, Tipperary, and they're all Zoom friends now, people they never knew. Ballyhara Development were able to work with the group to develop a laptop lending scheme through the Mitigating Against Educational Disadvantage Fund. We applied for funding, we told the story of all the people that we had that needed them and the progression that that would have for people and the capacity building of the groups. Social Hub members were able to borrow a laptop so that they could take part in the huge range of online activities, including digital skills training, to get them started. So we'd loan them out to computers, to laptops, to do the digital skills, and in a lot of situations, they'll buy their own after. The majority of them did the digital skills, like, and they got the, the computer, like, and they got the free phones. And that's what brought them all into the, um, the world of technology, like. I would say that definitely there was 60 participants a week between all the different programs. At night, we did some sessions where Hannah had a nephew and he's a chef. He did a cooking class with them. There was a local chiropractor came on and gave them some exercises that they could do. Free, you know, people just came together and really supported the group and knew what they were doing was really worthwhile um, and really wanted to help people at a time where there was such a great need in such an unprecedented time. It really was a big effort on behalf of the committee members, but as part of the SICAP programme, it was one of the best programmes, I suppose, that we ran at the time that met the most amount of people, you know. And mother's love's a blessing, and dance, no matter where you After 18 long months of meetings on Zoom, the Mitchellstown Social Hub members can finally see each other again in person. Isn't it grand to be invited to a party? Isn't it? Somebody pour out tea for you and, and have mom. a cake. Yeah, you would really end after all time in isolation. It's a much, much bigger group now, having grown in strength during the pandemic to 150 members with the support of SICAP and Ballyhara. I just start in the digital skills course tomorrow in Forest Hall under Ballyhara. I said, no matter what age you are, it's important to learn something new. It keeps the brain active. Now, the afternoon tea party, we're taking names for that. It'll be our first evening out since lockdown. Get dressed up and oh, put on your finery. It's a red lipstick day. Ladies, if you're all ready, and your first number, 3030. We encourage them to be the best they possibly can with training and give them confidence. A lot of people who come here, they're living on their own. There wouldn't be meeting an awful lot of people that would encourage them. So we encourage them to be the best they can. Doing is fun. Home is great.
sit at home at night, but not all day every day. So get out, get involved, be active and see what you can get out of it and see what you can give to it.